Kobold, and welcome to Feet in the Snow, a point-and-click indie horror, so psychological horror game. Again, I pretty much try not to look up as much as I can before actually have, be having these. I started mixing it with the text on the screen. Anyway, <laughs> hope you enjoy. I'm, ex I'm eager to see. The screenshots all look super interesting, so I wanted to give it a shot. Let's go. I keep having this dream. Why don't you tell me about it? While well, we're looking back and staring up at the ceiling. I'm in a forest at night. Okay, I really like this aesthetic that is going for it here with like the pixelated graphics and everything. Just like this is really cool already. <laughs> There's snow everywhere. There are footprints in the snow leading off into the distance. Do you follow them? Oh, so are we like talking to someone about these dreams we're having and we can just kind of go, can we go backwards? Can we turn around and leave? Turn around and leave. Don't go into it. Don't go into the distance. Yes, I follow them, but they keep going. Walk forward. I mean, they walk backwards now. Oh, I walk forward again and see something on the ground in the snow. Do you look at it? Let's look at it. Oh, I thought it was blood. <laughs> or maybe it's like a, it looks like a jelly. It looks like a scarf made out of jelly. Yes, I look at it. It looks like a red scarf, but what's wrong? It feels like flesh. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. That's not what I was expecting, honestly. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't suppose this will do anything if we... Okay. We just can't make any more observations. I continue forward. Oh, but there's a... There's a fork in the road here. Look at it, see? There's a tiny fork. Don't you see it? Right there, in the road? Tiny fork in the road? Let's walk to the right. Let's go off the beaten path. I see a path to the right, but it's a dead end. Interesting. Ooh, we can hear the audio in our right ear. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> walk forward, walk, ooh. I continue to follow the footprints, but notice a photo on the floor in the snow. On the floor in the snow? I mean on the ground? Do you look at it? Do we look at it? This almost looks like there's something over to the right here. I don't know if you can kind of see it. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> but it kind of does look like there's something there. Oh, okay. Hi, eyeball. My, what nice big eyes to see you with. Yes, I look at it. What is the photo of? It's me, but I have no face. Only a giant eye and it's moving. Poke. <laughs> Alright, continue forward. I continue forward. And again. And again. And again. Oh! Oh, this is a big ol' fork in the road. Eventually, I see a lamppost. This is so cool, though! I really like this. This looks so neat. The path is split. One way the footprints continue. The other is just a clear path. Okay. Which way do you go? Or was that? Oh, sorry. Which voice was that? No. <laughs> if this is in fact another person, I do kind of wish it was color coded, just like white border, but the actual font color being different. It's always nice to have something like, because my attention span is so bad, it's always nice to have little helpers like that. <laughs> I choose the path with no footprints. Then again, it could just be us talking to ourselves. Although it's still, it's not necessarily a bad idea to distinguish the two trains of thought regardless. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know why I always go into some sort of commentary half the time. <laughs> I hope that's not a big deal with everyone. <laughs> I see a house in the distance. Do you approach the house? Um. Yes. <laughs> that's a little looking a little abandoned there. Yes, I walk up to the house. Anything else? Can we creep in through the window first? Oh, we can walk back. We do have the opportunity to leave, but I think we should be brave. I try to open the front door, but it's locked. Ah, uh, heck. Okay, well, maybe we shall come back here later, then. Oh, wait. Oh, no, we're going around to the back of the house. Oh, okay, okay. Um, what's that? I noticed something on the floor. Oh, that's a severed hand with a bone sticking out. Yeah, bone. It's a severed hand? What, do you have a thumb drive in there? Literally. <laughs> no, it's the key. It's the key. Inside the hand is a key. Can you imagine, though, like... People's hands, when they're fucking dead, already kind of go and they stiffen up. Can you imagine trying to pry open them, the hands in the cold? They'd probably honestly just shatter and break off. 
Unless they were freshly dead, but they'd have to be very, very fresh. Not that I would know. Anyway, inside the hand is a key. It sounded like a gun. Um, can we open the back door? Maybe we should open the... Is it locked? I tried to open the back door, but it's locked. Okay, so maybe... Hmm. I kind of want to go in through the front door. Can we go in through the front door? Ah, I don't think we have that option. Okay. Open back door. Hello? Anyone in here? I unlock the door and walk into the kitchen. I couldn't tell if someone was snoring or if the house was just creaking. Look at pot. Oh yeah, we got that pot. Mmm, for the 19 blaze it. Sink, look at sink. There's a knife in the sink. I take it. Well, glad. I didn't even have to. Th I had no option there. I'm just grabbing that knife. That's ours knife now. Um, the other thing I think too is it's a little confusing sometimes when you mouse over it and it like the the word text fades away very kind of slowly, gradually. <laughs> sometimes when I'm mousing over things, I'm like, oh shoot, what was that? Anyway, <laughs> more unasked for commentary. <laughs> no, let me know if you enjoy that though. I kind of like poking at games and how they're designed sometimes, but let me know if it gets a little annoying. I don't want to be too overbearing with it. Anyway, look at the pot. Can we use the- oh no, there's their other hand. Oh no, it's the hand couple. The coupled hand to the- can we like take the knife to- no, we can't use the knife. No! We can't stir the pot. Uh, 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 uh. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I don't apologize. Okay, so we got a storeroom. I walk into the storeroom. What's in there? Jars with bloody part- body parts inside. Bloody p no, body parts. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, no candle, but we can look at the jars. Although there was, it does seem to be that there was someone here recently judging by the candles that are lit. That's a heart. But it looks more like an emoji heart. Is that how regular hearts look? Or is it not actually heart? Stab it. No, we can't stab it. Okay. That's a really strange observation. I don't know why we didn't like tell our inner self or our outer people with, that's a, okay. It's just hearts in general. Okay. Sunlight? Oh, oh, look at these plants. <gasps> it's a plant play, plant, plant, plant room. Ooh. Hello, plants. Aw, you're looking mighty fine today. Yo, what kind of plants are those? <gasps> are those the, um, what is it, succulents? Are those succulents? I like succulents. Those are, the succulents are nice and hearty. You know, because, you know, um, so little story is one time, uh, a friend and I bought a whole bunch of succulents and three of them died. They were all named after Dark Souls characters, and only two remain. And if I can remember the names of them, I'll give you an update in a future episode. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> two part lore you spread throughout multiple videos. Take that key. We do have another key. Great. It's a small key this time. Anything else in here? We can go to the living room from here. Storeroom, storeroom, living room. Okay. Uh, what's in that bowl? Oh! Okay. Yum. They like their um they like their body soup, huh? There's an eye in the bowl and it's moving. Can we do you want this key? Excuse me, eyeball, do you want my key? Can we just like take it out? No, we can't take it out. I'm slightly disappointed that we can't actually like I need something to dissolve the flesh. <gasps> Ooh. So if we if we study it a little bit more, we can get more hints perhaps. Now that's interesting. There's only candles in the fireplace, and I kind of wonder why. That's a very, seems like a very specific, or at least odd choice. Hello? Living room, dining room. We haven't been in either, I don't- Oh no, this is- Okay, that's just back to the room. Oh! Um, I walk into the dining room. What do you see? A man sitting at the table. Do you approach him? Um, hello, man. <laughs> What, what a nice, mighty, nice- STAB! <laughs> no, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, you okay. Oh, I bet you're missing two hands. Okay, so we haven't seen the other eye. Oh no, are we gonna put them back together? Oh gods. I approach the man. He has no eyes, no tongue. Poke, 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 poke. Okay, no, none of those. Okay. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. His tongue is missing. His eye is missing. His other eye is missing. Okay. Great. 
Oh, wait, we got some food. Oh, great. That's, um, that's, that looks like maybe, uh, a brain coral. Brain, brain coral. Mm -hmm. Brain, brain coral. Are there, okay, so it's just one piece of food in general. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe there's something inside of it? I don't know. Okay, never mind. Uh, we do have the upstairs left, though. <gasps> oh, my god. <laughs> it cannot be this on edge for this game. Uh, go to bedroom. Hello? Anyone outside? Go to... Let's see. Look at box. Oh, there's a locked box on the bed. <gasps> we do have a tiny key, tiny key, though. Yay! Oh, no! That's not the gift I wanted for Christmas. No! I wanted eyeballs for Christmas. God, Santa, come on. There's a tongue inside. Oh, great. We just got tongued. Okay, there's nothing in here, it appears. Go back to hall. Uh, bedroom. Oh, is that a Christmas tree? Oh, that's not a Christmas tree. No, that's not a Christmas tree. I walk into a bedroom. Oh, what's wrong? It's Flesh. Great. Hello, Flesh. Maybe I could cut it open. Great. Stabby, stabby, stabby the Flesh. <laughs> oh, great. There's another eyeball. Okay. We have another eye. Well, we have our first eye. We, we don't have access to the second one yet, but I think we just need some sort of chemical. Well, there we go. Maybe we'll find the chemicals in the bathroom. Do we need to take a pissy? No, no pissy. Okay. Um, look in drawers. Oh, <gasps> there's a bottle of acid in the drawer. What? <laughs> I like how it's... Why is there just acid in the drawer? Amongst all that red jello and jelly. Oh, I am faceless. Interesting. And we're assembling a face. Hmm. Could there be some imagery here? What's wrong? I don't have a face. Or I can't see my face. Maybe we can use our eye to see. No? Can we tongue our face? Can we ask it? Okay, no. <laughs> no, probably not a good idea. I don't think we have any other sort of options for using most of these. Was it where? Was it living room? It was living room. It was bowl. Uh, can we lick the, lick the eyeball? No. Okay. Like, yeah. Acid! Yay, we got the other eye now. The eye came loose. <laughs> They're so goofy. Look at him. Look at him. If I move the tongue, there. Wait, hold on. We gotta go to a place where I can't, like, um, do the thing. Hold on. Give me a moment. There we go, everybody. <laughs> we made a face successfully. <laughs> That's Jerry. That's Jerry the face. Okay, well, I think we can reassemble you now. Oh, that's... that's uncomfortable. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great. Oh, okay. What happened? I'm on a road now, still covered in snow. I can see something in the distance. Hello? It looks like a car. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, I approach the car. Is anyone inside? A woman. Hello, woman. Can I talk to you? Oh, she's just got her van dressing there. I've been waiting for you. Well, someone. I'm glad you picked this path. The car needs fuel and there's a gas station down the road. If you bring me some fuel, I'll get us out of here. Okay. I'm not allowed to leave the car. Please, just bring back some fuel. Okay, that's fantastic. <laughs> you have no- have you ever noticed that you have no irises? Is that not a problem? Oh, I see a gas station up ahead. Yay! Oh, we got a sign here. The sign say, fuel cans for sale inside. Why would you sell cans? Is that how gas stations usually work? We got anything in the pump? 87... It looks old, but it still works. Oh, they don't sell fuel. Okay, I'm a derp. <laughs> I was like, why are they selling loaded fuel cans? That doesn't make any sense. That's because it's not what they're doing. They're selling you the can. Oh. Hello. Um, look at. There are food items on the shelves. They feel empty. Oh, that's a little unusual. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, let me guess, you want a fuel can? There's one left, if you can find my marble, I'll give it to you. That's such a weird request from, um, from, uh, from 
gas dispensary location lady seller cash register cheer cash cheer ca cash cheer okay so she literally lost her marbles that's great well there's not really much here so that's interesting so we need to now find a marble there might be something on the ground maybe the path that we oh wait we can oh no never mind <laughs> okay so maybe there is a marble in the snow somewhere or maybe no that's not it okay it could be inside the car maybe <gasps> wait wait no oh i'm sorry you can't see it no <laughs> trying to bend over you'll see in a moment anyway it's a marble it's glowing oh that's a pretty marble it's irradiated <laughs> oh no wait maybe we shouldn't pick it up do you do you pick it up yes and it makes sounds yay oh that's pretty i like that marble this is my marble i don't want to give it to anyone else uh, i guess we have to though we need to get the gas in order to get the car moving fine i guess i can give up my my trusty marble I just need that marble, and I'll give you the fuel can. Oh, oh, we have to actually, like, there you go. Perfect. Here, take this. Oh. Um, oh, we got the fuel can. Yay! You better get going. Why? Or else what? Wait, does this mean we're just gonna steal fuel and then run? We don't have any money, so I don't know how we're gonna pump it exactly. Or are we just getting free fuel? Yeah, we got free fuel. <gasps> Is that what you get for using the marble? For giving the marble? Okay. Yay, we can leave. It's safe now. Yay, nothing else can possibly go wrong. Here, I got your gas. Great, let's go. Yay, we did it. <laughs> Are y'all ready to be free with me? Oh, well this is, yo, this is kind of a cool like FMV scene. I'm glad you chose this path so I can take you home. You know, I often find people wandering this road. I drive them all home. They all talk to me about their dreams. I don't know a lot about dreams, but someone told me once that if you see footprints in a dream, don't follow them. You'll be trapped in your dream forever. Oh, is that like a good ending thing? And then what happened? I woke up. Oh! What? <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Well, I wanted to check out the other ending, so that way I could give you a little taste of what, that, what that's like. And uh, let's figure out what's going on with the footprints then, because they told us not to follow the footprints. So, what are we going to do? Of course, we're going to go back into our dream and follow those footprints. Oh, oh, there's an elevator in the middle of a frozen lake. Well, there's no more footprints, so technically we're not following the footprints anymore. A loophole achieved. <laughs> Do you use the elevator? That's very ominous, though. Sure, why not? This is really cool aesthetic, though. I love this so much. I walk into the elevator. This is really ominous, though. I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. Hello? <laughs> There's, how can anything go wrong? Nothing has ever gone wrong. Oh, there's like an entirely different game here. The elevator takes me down into a concrete hallway. The footprints continue to a door at the far end. Wow, that's a little, um, that's a little spoopy. Wait, can we go back? Oh, the elevator won't work. Of course, of course. Well, let's go ahead and go through these doors. What is that? Is that a fish? I hope it's a fish. Wait, are we under the- Oh, we're in the lake now. Oh, that's really cool. I like this. Hello, fish. Fish and pie. It's a bottle of oil. Oh, we got a bottle of oil. Okay, good, good, good. Different chemicals. Oh, oh, sorry. Hold on. I don't think there was anything else in that room, but uh, you never know. Okay, look at the fish. Oh, it's just more fish. Okay. Go through a door. Whoa. It looks like a lab. No, that looks like a person. I don't think that's a dog. Let's check this up. Oh, there's a fish on the table. Hello, hello fishy. What's wrong? 
It's been cut open, but it's still alive. How do you know that blood isn't from someone else's fish? Can we oil you up? No, we can't lube up the fish. Okay, that's fine. Surgical items. Hello? It hurts my head to look at. I mean, it is very, like, bright and glowy. And uh, a little bit strange, not gonna lie. It looks like- are those footprints still? I'm not entirely sure what those are. Those look almost like duck footprints or something. No, those are like- what are those? Are those- oh, those are barefoot footprints, I think. Door's locked. Hello? Anyone else in here? Test tubes. Different chemicals. More chemicals. Anything- oh. Oh! There's a tiny heart in the sink. Okay, we just grabbed it. I'm- wait, fish heart? Oh, do we need to put it- ew, do we need to put it back in the fish? No, no, we can't need to put it back in the fish, can we? Are we putting- no, that can't be it. Whoa! Okay! Oh, the- we could have just, like, poked the fish around and gotten the key, but you know what, that's- that's- that's fine. Hello, fish. Well, we saved it at least, I guess. I don't know if that's a good thing. Was the store locked on the right? Is that what the door? Oh, there we go. Bam. Oh, are these like more test tubes? Human test tubes? Or fish person test tubes? Or, um, there's a valve on the ground. Oh, we got valve. Yay. Hello? <laughs> the valve is ours. Anybody in there? That's really ominous looking. That is really ominous. I can totally- oh, okay. Hi. A person. Okay. That's great. No, no one else in here? Any of these? Only the one. But I guess that kind of explains the barefoot footprints, I suppose. So that's very odd, but interesting. Okay. Any- anybody else? Use- oh! Uh, I suppose this is where the valve goes, and we probably oil it up. Bam! Am I smart or am I smart? Just goes down. <laughs> oh, jeez. We're descending the stairwell. I walk through a rusted tunnel until I see light. What do you see? This almost looks like, um, this looks like a place where they'd sell stuff, like a market. It is a market alley! Whoa! It's an alley with a shop with shop fronts lit up by lanterns. This is really cool, but extremely unexpected. And why are there... Hmm, do you still see footprints? Do you... Oh, sorry, wrong voice. Oh, well. <laughs> yes. Hello? Uh, do you have eyeballs? You have eyeballs and probably a tongue, so I think you're safe to talk to. You sell hands? Nice. Can I have some? You ordering something? I guess not. Maybe we don't have enough money to order a meal. Hello? Oh, there's a man over there. Look at shop. Whoa! There's no one here, but a locked box is on the counter. Okay. Oh, maybe that's where we get money from. Locked boxes keep money, as you know. Yo, it's a man! Got a cigarette. Hello, man. I need to get out of here. I don't know why I give everyone links to southern accents when they're a guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. They're all southern. It's my head cannon. <laughs> Look at shop. Hello? Hey, you don't have irises. Okay, great. You're not safe to talk to. You seem different. Great. I am. Thanks. Anywhere else? Oh, can we, can we go over in this one? Oh, wait. Walk forward? Okay, we have to walk forward. I don't think we can walk in that one. There's a big rusted door at the end of the hallway. Or, er, alley. Hallway. <laughs> a vending machine. It requires coins. Okay. Hello, woman. Did I just hear you talking to yourself? You must be new here. Why, thank you. I am. I saw one of the shop owners restock this vending machine earlier. Could you buy me a drink? Well, we don't have any money, so, um, now. Do you have any coins? We need to find somewhere that we can get coins. Which means we need some sort of key. We don't have any other items right now. Did we, oh wait, we didn't exhaust your dialogue, did we? Oh yes, we did, okay. We can't go through the door. Oh, was it this one? Oh, there's another irisless man over here. Hello, irisless man. 
See anything you like? Um... Um... Cheese. I think that's cheese. I don't know what that is. I uh, Just give me one of each, please. Game's gonna make me hungry. Anyway. <laughs> okay, is there anywhere? Where would we get a, um... Where would we get a key, though? Chose the footprints, huh? Yeah, we chose the footprints, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. okay. <clears throat> I can open it for you if you can find a token and bring it to me. So we need a token to open the door, but I'm still not entirely sure where we get a thing for no visible way of opening the door. Hmm. Oh! It looks like you picked the wrong path. That's all you had to say? Okay, great. Oh, oh, oh no, I skipped part of the dialogue. She said mentioned something about a token. <clears throat> One of the other shop owners stole something from me. I'm convinced he's locked it in that stupid box of his. If you can find the key and unlock the box, I'll give you something in return. Okay, so now we officially have the quest to go unlock the box. So maybe we needed that first because... Here's the actual lockbox, but there's still nothing there. He hides the key inside things for some reason. Okay, so we did get a- we did actually get a hint because I clicked in them. So inside things, but we didn't really find anything. The only thing I can think of is that like it's in the vending machine for some reason, but that means we still need coins, right? So if the coin's not in the lockbox, then where would coins be? I would I would imagine they'd be like on the ground. That's where I'm expecting them to be, but I haven't seen anything that looks like it's like on the ground exactly. Oh! Okay, that was a little bit out of the way. I'm assuming that there's something in here, but I don't know. It did say, okay, that the man likes to hide things and things, but I don't think I can actually open this. No, really? Oh, maybe it's in the other one. <gasps> there's a key inside. Oh my gosh, there we go. Bam, okay. <laughs> All right, so having that be in, having an important item be in the top left corner when you have such big like objects for, I don't know, like maybe I, I feel like I just had to mess over everything in order to find this. <laughs> I feel like a, even like a teeny tiny key sil silhouette or something would have been good to have in there. Now that we have the key, we can go ahead and open up the lockbox. Great. Bam, now we can go to return to the shop owner. Oh great, it's another eyeball. Fantastic. Love having can never run out of eyes. Here you go. Perfect. I knew he'd taken it. Here, take these. Oh, we got coins now. This is great. Now we can go to the vending machine, buy a drink. We do have three, which is interesting. The vending machine requires coins. Can we just use them there? Oh, all at once. There we go. A can, a drink came out. Oh, we got a can. Uh, do you want this can of, um, sp spramed? I saw one of the shop owners suck this vending machine. Okay, here you go. Here's your drink. Thanks. Oh, there's a finger in the drink. You can have it. I only want the drink. Great, fantastic. We got a finger. We got the finger. Literally gave us the finger. Wow, what a thanks. Thank you. Appreciate that. Would you like, would you like fing, fing, anyway. Who wants a finger? Did you want a finger? Oh, you found that in the vending machine. I have some information about a token if you give it to me. Here's the finger. We give you the finger, buddy. Just what I needed. You know, I saw that guy, you know, the one just over there. He's crouched down smoking. I saw him pick up a token off the floor. Oh, <gasps> you have the token. Gimme, 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 gimme. Uh, yeah, I found something that looked like a big coin on the floor. Bought some cigarettes from one of the shops with it. Okay, cigarettes from one of the shops. So which shop did you buy cigarettes from then? All right, the guy did buy cigarettes from me with that token. Guy wants so badly to get out of here, but he used the only thing that will get him out for cigarettes. No, I bet you're waiting for me to tell you to get something for me so that I give you the token. And all you have to do is ask me. So here it is. Good luck. Oh, great. Can we use the token on you? I thought you needed that. I honestly did not expect him to have any additional dialogue for that. It's funny. Okay, so, oh no, sorry, wrong one. You are the one that wanted the token. Bada bing, bada boom. 
<gasps> Don't think I'll be seeing you again. Whoa! We got a cutscene for that. That's neat. <laughs> Oh wow, we're back out on uh, we're back out in the snow. Where are you now? At a mountain trail. It's snowing again, and the wind is strong. This feels like a longer playthrough than the other area too. Do you climb the mountain? Sure. It's time for mountain climbing. Yes, I continue on the mountain's trail. I wonder, is there even an option to not? Oh, that sounds like someone else. That's a little creepy. We can't go back, though, so there's no looking back. Whoa! It's turning into getting over it. I'm at the top. I can see floating rocks over the edge. You step over the edge? Yo! Yes, I step onto a floating rock. We're jumping along, don't fall off. I hop across each floating rock. Ooh, what are the- Oh! The feet! It's the feet! There's something on the last rock. Whoa. It's almost like, like clay-like. That's so bizarre. It's like- it's. It feels almost like an uncanny valley of feet, but they look- I don't know, that's so strange. What is it? It's feet. They've been leaving the footprints. Okay, that's great. That's really strange. Is that it? Oh no, wait. I don't want to turn around. Why is that our only option? Also, look at this ball. Look at this ball right here. I am not ready for this. There better not be anyone- s Oh, wait. There's nothing. No path back? Is that it? And then what? Nothing! There's nothing. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so very much for watching. Wait a second. Here's one of the hands, though. I just realized that that's a severed hand point hand pointer. I am. It took me that long to realize that this is a severed hand. Anyway, I'm not entirely sure how to parse this entire dream thing. I'll leave it up to y'all. I know that's a bit of a cop out, but I'm I'm not very good at trying to like figure out dreams from this stuff. And I feel like it'd be a long monologue of me attempting to piece together all of the story. Nonetheless, it was still pretty creepy. And um, it did have some very strange elements to it. All of the severed limbs, the eyes, the tongue. And overall, I enjoyed this. I really like the art style. I like that there's animations to it. There's still particle effects. It's very interesting and I would like to see, I, I'd be interested in seeing longer versions of this. And I'm very curious if there is like kind of a secret ending sort of thing. But I don't know for sure. And uh, I urge you to check it out for yourself. So thank you very much to the developer. Thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all next time, Kobolds. Goodbye, everybody.